Now, this is very important. We're using three different types of guide wires here. First of all, through the percutaneous catheter, we're using a hybrid jag wire. The second wire we used to get into the anterior, right anterior duct was the BC Glide 2 wire. The third wire we used is an interesting wire called the grip wire. So the first thing we are going to do in this case is to do a radio frequency abla RFA ablation of the strictures. We have to do on both sides, left and right. There are four electrodes here spaced three millimeters apart. It's a bipolar catheter. The current goes from one to another one, creating this bipolar energy, thermal energy. We have placed these four rings at the stricture in the left hepatic duct. It's important uh, to place it in this area and not move it when you're doing the procedure because the heat is constantly being generated there. You get about 22 centimeter depth of thermal injury. We start the machine now. The resistance is at 51, the impedance is at 51. So first do an uh, radio frequency ablation of all the posterior and anterior segments. And after we did that, uh, we did a balloon dilatation using both Titan and Hurricane balloon. We dilated the left, uh, uh, left duct and right anterior and right posterior separately because this is very important. The right posterior was very tough. We put in one stent uh, while waiting for you and this was on the left duct. You can see we put an evolution stent. And it's important if you get the endoscopy picture that the lower end is actually outside, just outside the papilla. This is important because if you want to recannulate again when the stent gets blocked, you must always have it outside the papilla. The second stent I'm going to put on my wire, this is on the right anterior duct and I'm going to use a wall flex uncovered stent. And you can see that as the stent goes in, there's a little resistance uh, because already we have one more uh, stent in place. So this is going to be a little more difficult, but the third stent is going to be the challenge, which I think you'll have to watch that. But first, let me see if I can get this stent in. Now, what I'm looking at is the lower end because I want the lower end to be just outside the papilla. Can you now, Ralph, open the stent? Yeah. Ralph is going to open the stent now. Okay. Now, what I'm doing is I'm not concentrating on the top part at all. I'm concentrating only on the endoscopy area to see that I place it in the right way. And I'm just constantly checking that because the light is coming. Now, yeah, now you can go down. The fluoroscopy can go down, show us. So when I come to the second most part, second lower marker, I'm going to put everything in position and then ask RAF to completely deploy stand. So keep deploying RAF now. This is very important that they're all in the same position. Okay, now we have deployed this stent. I'm just going to see that. See now, both the stents are outside the papilla. Now I'm going to take out the stent along with the guide wire because we don't have any need for the guide wire. Now this is going to be the challenging part, the third stent. Now you can see this going up now, the third stent. I'm going in. And as, I'm, as it's going in, I'm just trying to feel for it. This is where the resistance is. So I'm going to use a little screwing movement, jiggling movement to get it in. And it seems to be ascending a little. And I'm finding it a little difficult here. And Raf is putting, pulling on the stent, actually. And that's why it's, then it's going inside. Otherwise, it would have been extremely difficult to get this in. I'm just pulling it further. Yeah, further. Oh, excellent, excellent. Got through. See that? We are deep inside now. And the reason. The way it was pushed in was, in spite of the tight structure, we used a couple of endoscopic movements like little screwing movement, jerking movement, and RAF was simultaneously, I mean, the torsion was simultaneously pulling on the Jaguar here. So this combination, this is again teamwork, very important. This combination helped. And now we are going to release this stent. So I'm just now looking only at the endoscopy picture because I want, this is very important. The three stents should be made, placed parallelly so that when you want to recannulate, and which is likely in this patient is going to give live long enough for that, you will have to uh, recannulate all the three stands. Yeah, keep push, Raf, keep. Yeah, okay. So now the third stand is, you can see all the, all the three Excellent. stands now. Can you see that? Yeah, we Thomas? can. Very nice. Thomas, you are keep, satisfied? Keep the wire. Keep the wire. Yeah. So what is important is that we are keeping the wire in place uh, and then removing this outer cath sheath only. Now as uh, Torsion is holding on to the catheter there. I'm going to pull back on the wire. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the wire is gone completely. You can pull back on the catheter now. Okay. Yeah, he's going to pull back the catheter completely. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, you can see very good drainage system. now. And it's, it's, it's a perfect procedure. So I don't okay. think we require in this case. We can remove everything now. Okay?